Hey guys, today we're about 60 miles from Vegas and we are going to the world famous chicken ranch. Everybody has their needs and it's not always sex. I've never walked out here unhappy, I could say that. Maybe you want a blowjob done by five girls, I don't know. <laughs> This is so cute, oh my gosh. Please ring bell for assistance. world's famous parlor. If you want to come and let's say see all the lovely ladies that we have to offer, we ask you to have a seat in one of these chairs and then each girl will come out and introduce yourself at which time this um, back uh, screen will open <laughs> and you get to see the whole full 360 view of each oh. lady. Oh. So the owner really wanted to keep it very old school and if you think of a brothel and you see old mm -hmm. videos, this is kind of how the you know, being on stage for everybody to kind of choose. So we wanted to keep it very traditional in that sense, so we kept this original. <laughs> to the left, this is our doctor's office. So in order to work at a brothel legally, you have to have a clean bill of health. So we do get tested once a week. Um, in order for us to work here, they send those test results to the sheriff's department, and the sheriff's department actually clears us to work. So we are fingerprinted, and then we are released to work. So everything is legal, safe, and protected at all times. Hi, I'm Sammy Sweet. How did you get into this industry? Well, I started dancing, and then from dancing, uh, one of the uh, clubs wanted you to do like an online profile, and my friend suggested we applied at the chicken ranch because it was at the bottom of the profile. I had never worked at a brothel before. I've only seen the cat house, so I was kind of scared. Um, I applied, and I didn't think that I would get hired because, you know, it's a, a lot of girls that apply, but. Um, I got hired and I was so afraid. I didn't even turn in my like paperwork till like the day before. <laughs> and I was so nervous, but I got hired and I love it here. Hi, I'm Ari Rose. So I've always um, been a dancer. I've um, definitely traveled around a lot. Started dancing during COVID. Dancing got very, very slow. Didn't know what to do. A lot of my friends talked about like the ranches and stuff. And I was just kind of iffy about it because I've never done anything like that before. So. Probably a couple years later, I contacted Boo and I asked him, you know, I think I want to do this. He walked me through everything. He hired me and I just love the environment. I love the people, the staff here, everything. Everyone's just like family. So definitely, definitely a good decision for coming here. This is where all the ladies line up at when we have a guest that comes over. Here is our personal kitchen. This is where we cook our own meals or just keep our personal items. Back here is our cat room. This is where we like socialize. We play a lot of games, board games, get together. It would be nice. A lot of stuff like that. Um, a lot of the ladies like to keep their shoes here so we're not running to line up with mm -hmm. heels and, you know, not getting hurt and stuff like that. What's your schedule like? Like how long are you at the brothel? How long will you stay away? Like how much are you actually here and working? So each lady um, has the opportunity to create her own schedule. Me personally, um, I don't live local, so I like to do two week tours at a time. So whenever I come, I always do two weeks. Sometimes I do more, sometimes I'll extend a week, like a third week or something like that, but it's totally up to me. But personally, I like to stick around two, tour or two week tours. And in that two weeks, what's your typical day look like? I know every day is different, every but... Every day is different. It's hard to say. You'll have days where you don't see anyone. Sometimes it'll be slow, or you'll have a lot of lineups. It's just, you know, not the right customer comes to that door. But let me tell you, it only takes one day to make your whole week. So it really just depends. It is pretty busy here, so you usually do have at least one customer a day, but um, yeah, I would say it's just, it's definitely depending on like the week. The end of the months are usually a lot slower in my opinion, so, but it's, I've never walked out here unhappy, I could say that. Let's say maybe you have other stuff going on and you just don't want to work for October, you could take the whole month off. Yeah. So they are very lenient with their schedule, as long as you communicate. I think um, for the most part, the big thing is communication. Sure. There's, 
girls all over the world here from Colombia, Brazil, um, Texas, New York, everywhere. So we'll work here and then from here we'll go home, you know, decompress and then you come back. Over here we have our kitchen. We have a chef that cooks for us twice a day. We have brunch um, that's 11.30 to 12.30 and then dinners um, 4.30 to 5.30. So that's really nice. All that's provided for us. If we go this way, this is just more ladies rooms. And then over here we have our spa area. This is my favorite personally. This is our, we like to call it our orgy shower. Where mm -hmm. We can fit tons of girls in there for oh. like a multi-person um, party here. You can also do a party or a small room. There's a pole, the lights go off, the strobe lights come on. You could connect music. A lot of our guests like to use our spa area. It's a heated um, hot tub. There's fresh towels for the guests and stuff along that way. And maybe their you know, wife passed away and they don't want to go to a bar and date. So they come here because they just want the companionship. They just want the intimacy. Um, you get couples that come in here that want to try new things because they've been with their partner for so long and maybe just things are kind of uh, repetitive. So they come here to try new things. You have army vets that are in wheelchairs who you know, don't want to go out to the bar and date. So they come here like, you have people that are autistic, Down syndrome, you know, everybody has their needs and it's not always sex. So I, I love when people come and um, interview, when people come and like look at it and do tours because it's more than sex. Like you become their friend, you become their therapist. Like we know about your deepest, darkest secrets and no one's gonna know but us. Like everything in that bedroom becomes so safe. It's like your safe place, you know? What kind of expenses do you have being in this industry? Oh, so many. I feel like all my expenses are for this. Like, um, here we're required to wear dresses during a lineup or you can wear mm -hmm. lingerie if you want to. For the most part, um, I think the owner likes to keep it the like dress with the heels type thing, very like classy. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to buy dresses, we buy lingerie. For the girls that do massages, it's your newer gels, your massages. Um, you know, sometimes you have parties that want BDSM, so you have to invest in all that stuff. Um, we constantly have condoms, so, you know, and everybody's different sizes, so you keep all those in stock, and condoms expire, so you constantly have to flow with, you know, new ones. Um, we also do dental dams, so for females, they do the dental dams. So every single thing that has to do with um, this job, from shoes to dresses to makeup to hair to skin care to massages to chiropractic stuff, we, it all comes out of pocket for us. Is it similar to a strip club, that how like at a club you go and you pay for the night like to work? Like do you pay a fee to work here or do you share a percentage? So we share a percentage, so um, all the bookings will, we, depending on whatever's booked, um, the house will keep a percentage of that and then we pay rent daily so we do live here for two to three weeks. Um, so we, that rent comes out of that. We also get fingerprinted, that comes out of the money that we make and then to get tested every week, we also pay for that. So everything comes out of our pockets. It's gotcha. a real yeah. independent contracting totally. company. Like we pay for all of it. So it's basically like the house is renting us a space and we pay them for the space, but to keep it legal, they still have their fees that they take out of our money. But I feel like that's so much safer than keeping all your money and risking possibly going to jail. This is our outdoor area. So during the summertime, we do have a lot of parties. We'll have DJs, we'll have like outdoor bar. Um, you can come in here, you do not need any uh, bathing suit or anything. You can tan um, naked. So every day when you get up, you have to like get ready, do your makeup, your hair, and just be ready all yes. day. Yes, so you wake up at your own time. The bells don't go off till after 11.30. So no one can come on your, like if the customer comes, they'll have to knock on your door. They can't like wake you up. It's like very subtle. And then you have the right to refuse a lineup if you want to. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's totally up to you. We're not like yeah. forced to do <laughs> Yeah, anything. like get out so, there. <laughs> yeah, no, it's totally up to our discretion, yes. That's awesome. This is my favorite part. <laughs> So Thank now you. that our bungalows are down, this is what we use for like our um, VIP room. Uh -huh. Just to give the client a lot more privacy. It takes the feel out of like a brothel. Sometimes yes. people want that intimacy, but like not in a bedroom. Yeah. So like I want the wifey for a day. Like right. we could bring a bottle of champagne, do like a fruit platter, maybe like order some lunch or dinner. And then you can come up here. Up here we have like the fireplace. So let's say, like, oh, it's actually kind of hot. <laughs> 
But you can really do it, like customize it to hover. So like with the fireplace, both of these recline, you can put a movie on. This is nice. Hang out. Yeah, yeah, just hang out. Sometimes people want that intimacy, but like the bedroom makes it feel very like motel or yeah. hotel, you know? So this takes that takes you out of that whole setting, like puts your mindset somewhere else. So do they have to book a certain amount of time to get this? Um, not time, more, the more amount. like dollar amount. Okay. Yes, but you know, for the amount that you pay in an hourly session, you can just upgrade to this room for the same cost. Mm. For all the magic. <laughs> 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 the only thing so about it is it's very high. Uh -huh. So that's when you have our taller gentleman. It's a bit of a You have to like struggle, jump up there. <laughs> But I like it. There's a mirror, but I have a lot yeah. of fun. Um, my clients love the mirror. How long have you guys been here? Um, I actually am about to hit my two year in a week. So I, I've been here like six months now, probably. I just stopped here recently. So. I love it though. It's cool. like family here. So. Yeah. And then this is where the Chicken Rancher originated. So when Ken first bought it in 1982, uh, this is kind of how it looked. It has came a tremendous long way. Um, and it's still building. We're building more and more on it all the time. And we're bringing more and more girls in all the time. The most expensive pussy in the house. <laughs> and she's been here the longest. Yeah. That's so cute. So she was cute. She fluffier, but we just gave her a haircut. Aww. Mm -hmm. These are like some of the games that we play. Because um, like I said, we are here for 14 to 21 days, so we do have a lot of downtime, so we play games. Right here we do have the computer room, we have girls like in school, um, girls that own businesses, and then the laundry room. This fat, this room does have a big closet too, so like when girls come, we do have like our stuff. This um, room also does have a bathroom attached to it, so you get like your bathroom and mm -hmm. the light on it. <laughs> Do some of the rooms not have a bathroom? Um, we do have a few rooms that share bathrooms, so they're like Jack and Jill, so you have like yeah. one bathroom on one side or one bathroom on one side. So who gets to pick the room? Do you get the longest to get their best no, room? Or? Uh, every tour, it kind of just, you do a new room every tour. So um, this is the first time in this room, but every other room, like you'll have like two times, three times. Yeah, like, so kind of yeah. It's mm -hmm. like staying in a hotel, kind yeah, of. Yeah, kind you of. You just so like check in, you yeah. See, when you check in, you fill out like your, information saying like your tours from this day to this day. Uh, this is your room, you're promising they're gonna keep it clean, you're gonna keep it tidy, no eating in the rooms. I found the remote, so let me show you guys a little, a little romantical candle too. So it's better at nighttime obviously, but, and then you get the music going and it's, it takes that shyness out of the shy people. We're not just sex, like we're your friends. <laughs> Where can people find you if they wanna connect with you on social media or come see you? So my handle for Twitter, Instagram, um, Snapchat is Dabber Baby, so D-A-B-B-E-R-B-B-Y. Um, on Instagram, there's also an underscore after Y. I'm everywhere. I'm open to all of it. TikTok, find me on TikTok. I do a lot of reels because I think I'm funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my room. Like I said, I like a lot of pink. Very subtle. Um, all the rooms come with our own TV. You get um, your own bed and stuff, and you're um, able to decorate it the way you like. I just say you buy the stuff off Amazon. Or yeah, I get everything I've got in this room is off Amazon. Yeah. Um, they probably do hangers. You could just, I usually just line up my outfits I have for the week mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And yeah, mirrors are probably my favorite thing about this room. But talking about taking them out, I'm like, <laughs> most of the rooms come with bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Their own bathroom. Some of us share a bathroom. Fortunately, this tour. I'm blessed with having my own bathroom, so yeah, just connect it here, and yeah, that's it. It's perfect, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Where can everyone find you if they want to book a party with you and connect with you on social media? So I'm on Twitter. I have an Instagram, but I don't really use it too much, so Twitter is my main um, platform. So if you're ever in the area, you can come here to just visit the bar. One thing I think is really cool, there's no pressure here. So if you're not really sure like if the brothel thing is for you or maybe you just want to check it out, you're curious, you can come to the bar, get a drink, and it's a really relaxed atmosphere. It's There's no pressure. And if you just want to get a drink and that's all you want to do and then you want to leave, that's fine. I would like to thank the Chicken Ranch for having me. Thank you so much for being so welcoming and giving me a private tour. I appreciate you guys. And thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you had fun. If you want to see more videos like this and more Vegas content, like, share, and subscribe. 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.